So I'm not going to lie to you guys, I was not expecting to hear anything from this game again. I thought after they released their patches and released it on PS5 with their little improvements on life or whatever, I thought that they were pretty much done. But what's good everybody, I'm Superior Kai, welcome back to another video. So what I have for you guys today is some very exciting, or I guess you, if you're a fan, you would find this exciting. I would say surprising yet not unwelcome news. So if you are a fan of Cyberpunk 2077, they are still planning on releasing an expansion for this game, which the game came out like what, 2020, which, oof. Like, well, I, actually I would say 2021 because it came out like December. So it, if we're gonna be real, we're gonna be real. Like late December too. But before we get into that, I want you guys to comment down below your first life path that you took in this game. I took Street Kid because, hey, you know, it's the streets, you feel me? You gotta got represent. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss the videos we're posting here on the channel and be notified when I go live. That being said, let's get to it. So it says here that earlier this year, plot details for Cyberpunk 2077 DLC were linked, but it wasn't made clear as to when it would be released. Earlier this month, however, Cyberpunk 2077's official Twitter account may have dropped a pretty big hint on the matter. Specifically, it replied to a German YouTuber, Varian, playfully asking when the DLC would be coming to CD Projekt Red's latest game. With Gamescom rapidly approaching, this tweet may very well have been teasing an announcement at the upcoming convention. Now obviously Gamescom has been passed, now that being said, it doesn't mean there's any truth to that. But I did get curious as to what these links were for, you know, the DLC for Cyberpunk 2077. Now, if you don't want to know any of the links, I suggest skipping to this time code here. But, that being said, you guys have been warned. So it says without going into too many details of the link dialogue, the plot of DLC appears to heavily involve a character by the name of Songbird. Songbird is a character that's absent from Cyberpunk 2077, though has a fleshed out model and a diverse range of customization options found within the game's files. Only taking files into consideration, it would be easy to assume Songbird was a major character in Cyberpunk 2077. Her absence indicates she was either cut or CD Projekt Red had big plans for her in the future. Now that's kind of a weird name, right? Songbird. It kind of sounds like something you would hear at a Marvel, like, I don't know, like Dazzler, right? Songbird, Dazzler, you know, something like that, right? But we have still more information here, so. Going forward, much of the dialogue is difficult to parse since it's removed from the context of the game. However, there's enough to say that players will be traveling into the combat zone of Pacifica region, a region that players have been previously been kept out of. Further, there's a new epilogue for Cyberpunk 2077 involving Hanako, an expansion on the Arasaka ending. It's going to take some time for Cyberpunk 2077 enthusiasts to parse through the link, pick up the meaningful pieces of dialogue, and evaluate how much of the DLC story has been revealed. In the meantime, it's safe to say that CD Projekt Red has had a substantial expansion for Cyberpunk 27 in the works with new quests and content. So my final thoughts are I'm down like I'm, I'm more than down for you know more cyberpunk content right especially if it's good content because I think story wise they pretty much they had it in the bag right they definitely removed some stuff like I said before they had gold here right despite the absolute shit show that this game was when it launched and even after it launched right and the game it's still not perfect right I would argue that it's still not perfect but it's way better than it was when it first launched I would argue that the way the game is now, I would say that this is, I would say this is day one, day one patch, day one patch worthy, right? If we're gonna be honest, right? But hey, if they want to reveal some uh, some DLC, you know, and and charge that. I mean, how much do you think an expansion is gonna cost? Do you think they're gonna charge us for that? Because CD Projekt Red's been really generous thus far. But let me know what you guys think. Are you down for more DLC for Cyberpunk 2077? Are you not down? Are you like, I'm kind of over this game, to be honest? I can understand if people are. Because I, I once I finished like my Street Kid story and my Corpro story, I was kind of just like, okay, like I, I, I've seen everything this game has to offer. I'm good. But that's going to be it for this video. If you like what you saw here, want to see more, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And until next time, I'm Superior Kai, and I'm out. Deuces.